Um, a new poll issued last week by the Detroit Free Press and WXYZ TV found that barely a third, barely a third of Michigan residents think the state's struggling economy has begun to turn around. The poll also showed that 47% of the people surveyed said that an immediate family member had lost a job in the last two years. That means for nearly half the people questioned, unemployment is literally hitting close to home. It's no surprise then that 600 people surveyed cited Michigan's economy and the lack of jobs as their top priority. During this economic crisis, Michigan is being hit harder than any other state in the nation, and the citizens of the state are hurting in every corner. From April 2009 to April 2010, 16 of Michigan's 17 major labor markets recorded increases in unemployment and st are still over 10 percent. In that same span, unemployment rates rose in 78 of Michigan's 83 counties. The Northeast Lower Peninsula had the state's highest jobless rate in April at 17.2 percent, and the Northwest Lower Peninsula had the second highest rate at 15.3 percent. The Flint and Muskegon Norton Shores metropolitan areas both posted an unemployment rate of 14.9 percent, and the Detroit Warren Livonia areas was 14.8 percent. Saginaw, Jackson, and Monroe's was no different. My Senate Democratic colleagues and I are fighting to do something to help the workers in our districts. Shouldn't the people elected to serve those areas be doing the same? The suffering of Michigan's families is not limited by political boundaries as people are facing the same challenges in Democratic and Republican districts alike. And support for Michigan's working families shouldn't be bogged down in partisanship either. Senate Republicans control the Senate and set the legislative agenda, but they have yet to move any significant legislation to create jobs or help workers. In addition to neglecting existing bills, they have not offered any solutions of their own to Michigan's ongoing economic struggles. It's time for the Senate leadership to step up and tackle the real crisis at hand and start addressing the economic needs of this state instead of a political agenda. I call on the Senate leadership to take up bills that will ensure that Michigan workers get back on the job. Thank you, Mr. President, and I ask that my remarks be printed in the journal.